it's Pelear today and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the AI title card in After Effects and I'm going to be using Kyber as well. Uh, it's a pretty pretty cool effect and I think it's much more efficient especially this way I'm going to be uh, showcasing to you guys now. And yeah I'm excited to show you guys how to make it and if you guys don't know who I am my name is Pelle Kvarberg. I'm from Sweden. I've been editing for almost a decade now and I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing and it's going to save you a ton of time so if that's something you're interested in be sure to check out the website now let's start with the tutorial so here I'm going to jump straight into Kyber here and we're in the super studio mode here and what you're going to be doing when you're here is to press open app and here you will be getting your canvas here uh, I've already been working trying out some effects here just ignore that but now if you go to this super studio text up here then go to creative templates I'm not a pro at you know these kind of uh, AI this Kyber super studio uh, thing yet but uh, you know I'm working on it but uh, uh, here I'm gonna be using a, a template uh, and I think you guys especially like in a music video niche here is gonna have a lot of use of this so we have the generative uh, typography here. So, press on that one. And here, uh, we're in the viewing mode, so press duplicate here. And this is how it looks here. If we zoom in a little bit, and we have some, yeah, basically pre made text here we could use for our title card. So, here, for example, we have a chrome reflex type here. We go to the next one, we have this uh, gothic, uh, yeah text here a uh, bubble type i think this one looks very cool especially this text here is looks just insane uh, depending on you know what style you guys are going for the style i want to go for uh, is the uh, gothic type basically i think this one uh, looks the coolest in my opinion you can see how many different types here and here in the uh, settings here we have for the uh, gothic type text here we're going to be changing the word here to whatever we call our music video. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to type title and then we can test out by pressing generate. And we got our first text there. Uh, don't think that looked so cool, but uh, yeah. But yeah, you can just keep on generating. You can type tutorial, try out some other word. Yeah, this one looks sick, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so sick. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, this looks really good. So if we download this one, it's going to look something like this. This looks actually incredible in my opinion. I don't know what, what you guys think. I think it looks, it looks absolutely amazing. And now import the AI generated text. And you guys might have some problem importing the uh, AI title card file. Uh, so basically just go into Photoshop, press new, and then go with the normal uh, FHD format drag it in here like this here go to file export export as so now just drag it in and now we get our text here and i'm going to be adding invert here first so it's going to look something like this and after that you can uh, make it screen so this is how it looks and now i'm going to be editing in the title card a little bit here so the first thing we can do is to make a little zoom animation here i'm going to make it a little bit smaller i'm going to set it to 85 then scale go to five seconds set it to 100 so now we get this little zoom here looks pretty clean then we can make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here i'm going to be adding dissolve luma set it to 100 percent then keyframe the dissolve percentage Go to five seconds, set it to zero, and this is how it's going to look so far. Very, very clean animation in my opinion. And you guys can adjust the softness here as well. I'm going to set it to uh, 0.3. Then for the background layer here, we could add vignettes. So a little touch there. I'm going to set the angle of view to 70 and then amount 150. And then to elevate this even more, press Ctrl Alt Y. Animation presets, user presets grunge preset pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle and i'm going to be using this to really push the gothic kind of style even more here we could add a dark grungy scan lines it's going to look something like this already incredible look uh, and then to adjust the uh, yeah 
brightness waves here uh, of the effect just make a another adjustment layer and add curves drag it under the dark grungy skylines and then you just adjust the curves i made this kind of inverted uh, contrast look here looks pretty pretty cool on the text and this is the title card we created in the end i think it looks absolutely amazing i really really love the grungy gothic kind of style and they can just create this kind of you know a uh, gothic text with just one click a little you know prompt change in kyber is truly amazing i thought it looked so so cool and uh, uh, it's really cool that you can make basically your own unique text by using the uh, yeah, kyber ai like if, if i would have generated one more time same settings everything it wouldn't look like this the tutorial text it would be something completely different which it's going to, in the end, make your uh, music videos, your products you're working on, completely unique. And uh, that is, you know, something we all want. So I'm very satisfied with the result here. And if you guys want to check out the Grunge Preset Pack, it's going to be a link in the description down below. And it's also going to be a little discount code there as well. And a link to Kyber is also going to be in the description down below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching the tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisual.com. Also check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.